It was written by people. So it's really important to remember it was written by people. And other people decided to call it the Bible. So if you affirm the Bible, you have to affirm the people who wrote it. And then you have to affirm the people who decided that the people who wrote those things, all those writings ought to be brought together. So it is first and foremost human. And whatever divine statements people want to make will come through the human. You can't escape the human. And these people who wrote this book were writing in real places at real times, and they were real people. And they had agendas, and they had perspectives, and they had biases, and they felt things, and they had histories, and they had longings, and they were influenced by politics, and they were influenced by their tribes. And so I think the thing is, the book is, it's a library of extraordinary inspired books. And I think it, if you read it well and you take it seriously, it shows you what it looks like for human beings to grow in consciousness and awareness and understanding. Um, it's an extraordinary, it's extraordinary. But if you skip the human element, you just say it dropped out of the sky and, or you know, God wrote it. In my experience, the people who talk the most and insist the most that it's perfect, that it's, those, are, those aren't the categories that it presents itself. Um, and that's the problem is the people who are the loudest about the Bible actually demean it in lots of ways. Well, first off, whenever people insist that it literally happened that way, that's just modern post-enlightenment. That's a particular kind of thinking that insists the only things that are true are the things that literally factually happened exactly like the person said. It's an incredibly narrow view of truth that has only taken massive predominance in the past three or four hundred years. So when someone reads the Bible that way, they're actually totally enslaved to a particular modern epistemology, a way of understanding how we know what we know. Do you know what I mean? For example, the early church fathers, if a passage didn't make sense, literally, they just assumed that it was a metaphor. Do you know what I mean? So at other points in history, people read the scriptures and assumed the writer here is using those numbers and using those details to tell us something at a much deeper level. So the question is, what does it mean? Yeah, they read, they have a childish, naive, incredibly immature view of the Bible. They read it, it's called static appropriation. They just take a passage and say, you believe that God is like this. No, I don't. I believe that human beings have been growing in their awareness, in their understanding, and their consciousness for a really, really long time. And that passage is reflective of how people understood things then.